Hi everybody, it's Diane Lucky Gardenia, Dashboard Confessional, legit. I'm sitting here once again in the car. I think it's been, I don't know how many blue moons. I think it was in the fall of last year that I actually did my last video for the channel. Um, probably wondering where in the heck have I gone? I've not fallen off the face of the earth. It's just been a really tough, probably four or five months. Anyway, made it through the holidays. It was somewhat difficult. Um, thank you for my daughters. They certainly helped um, ease the, the, the sorrow I was going through, but not to get into all that Debbie Downer stuff. Um, I'm alive and well. I'm kicking. Um, it's a gloomy day here in Texas. Just going to make a brief run out to get some supplies for the house. Um, just thought you may wonder if I was still around, but I am. And certainly, with not being able to do anything, um, have lots of time to get into stitching, some of the quilting projects, painting. Um, this is where the people who want all the things for all the creative interests that they have, it comes to an, an advantage because Lord knows I have projects out the, you know, I can't think of anything polite to say, but um, I have a whole lot of projects. I um, think I'm going to get a puzzle. My friend Patty mentioned that last night. I've been talking to her and, it, you know, it, it's just good to check on those people, especially, you know, I mentioned this on both Facebook and I think on Instagram that especially the people who live alone um, things can happen so quickly as we all are seeing that you know reach out to the family members reach out to your friends that live alone I just had a friend that I haven't texted with probably in five months checking on me and it was because she just wanted to make sure I was okay which is so, so sweet. I'm reaching out to some of my closest friends that, you know, I wouldn't talk to normally on a normal basis, but, you know, these are unique circumstances and certainly something none of us have ever seen. And on a post I made, you know, I was thinking, you know, this is, you know, one of those times we're going to look back years from now and say, you know, what were our lives like back when this all this occurred? And, you know, I, I just highly recommend, mot try to get you motivated to document, journal, you know, how you're feeling, your experiences, what you're eating, what you're doing, what you're doing with your family. Um, it's, for one, it, it's a good way to um, kind of have an outlet for all those um, emotions, concerns. I know I have, it's like a, it's like a tidal wave that, um, you know, there's times that I'm feeling okay, you know, that it's, it's going to be optimistic, and then there's other times I'm freaking out. So, um, and I'm trying not to cry because Lord knows I don't want to, to get a sinus infection. Um, so you who have been here from the get-go know I'm I'm a real crybaby, and I had to restart the video. You probably noticed my eyes were a little watery. Um, just to briefly mention, because I will get upset, uh, my dear birdie bear passed away early January. So Lucy has um, been taking it rough and trying to really make her feel secure. I looked up, you know, some advice on the internet on and youtube on how to you know comfort them she's in mourning too so um uh, maybe someday I'll, I'll go further into that but it's just you know me i'm just a crybaby um so far to my knowledge everybody in my family's okay and um i've been trying to get my steps in, get some type of exercise. I just walk and march in place and watch either Netflix, YouTube, Hulu, Prime, CBS, been watching NCIS, almost every series that I can follow on Netflix or, or 
Prime or, you know, Hulu, and there's just not enough. I'm just going through them like crazy. But, um, sorry this is so wobbly. I just have nothing to rest this on. Um, I won't keep this long. I may vlog later. I did get a stitching pattern um, that's actually Christmas related, but it's really cute, and I'll have it next time to show you. Um, sent the picture of it to my friend Cricket. Hi, Cricket. She is the best follower, friend, virtual friend. Um, she always comments on all my videos. She always follows and mentions something on my Facebook and Instagram. And although she's in, I think, Chicago, I feel like we're soul sisters. Um, anyway, it's just, you know, I've never talked to her, but, um, you know, I worry about her. She's been ill over the holidays and, but she never fails to be uplifting. And that's what I, I just promote. Um, I, I'm doing dance party of one in my kitchen. And what you're saying, why your kitchen? Because it has no carpet. <laughs> anyway, plus I'm walking. Um, playing music that I like, dancing by myself. Lucy lets me dance, pick her up and dance with her randomly and plus she's over 20 pounds so it's an exercise in itself just dancing with her but um she does get kind of excited when the music comes on and I start to uh, bust a move but um been sharing some of the songs that I'm listening to um connecting or, or you know putting the link to the YouTube video of the song and it, it would be fun if others join me. I had a couple of friends tell me what they were listening to. Um, love to see a video, you know, upload a video link to YouTube. I may find some songs I've never heard about. Um, music is a great um, uplifter. And I, I say let's make the most of this time together and reach out, get to know each other better. Um, there's some people I've never met that I have come across on Facebook through other pages, group pages that I certainly, you know, think, hey, that's somebody I really would like to get to know better. So who knows? I may message them and just start up a chat. And I had someone um, from the ukulele, Dallas ukulele headquarters, reach out to me and noticed I wasn't at one of the events. And we just chatted. And... Um, never talked in length in person, but really, really a nice person. So, um, we, something good can come out of all this. Plus, um, you know, it makes you assess your life and, um, it is that virtual fork in a road. It's, you know, life is going to be different. Our priorities are going to be readjusted and, um, you know, I am using minimal toilet paper, you know, it, it's crazy, but, um, I found some napkins at Walmart yesterday, so I picked those up. I've got lots of paper towels, of course, not to be flushed, but, you know, um, and I got to thank you. What did they do before toilet paper? And I was, um, texting my daughter, um, daughters, and it was like, okay, an Outlander, I think they use leaves. Um, w that's an option. There's lots of leaves and, you know, pages out of books or something, you know, it may get to that, but, um, anyway, just, you know, sharing meal ideas with my daughters and, um, just checking on people. So I would love for you to comment, let me know you're okay, what part of the world you're in, maybe what your experience is right now. Um, if you're working on a cross stitch project, a quilting project, a painting project, anything, share anything. Please, um, upload videos. I was watching a friend from belly dancing that I have not seen in person probably in 10 years. And um, she was sewing face masks. And then she walked to her kitchen. She was making dinner and used her kitchen aid to make um, fettuccine. And it's like, oh man, I got a kitchen aid. I don't have a pasta attachment, but... That may be a good idea. And she just sat there and chatted. We sent her questions. And, you know, it was it was connecting. We got to find new ways to connect. Um, 
I would love to hear from people. I am on Facebook, Diane Rivera. I'm on Instagram, um, Lucky Gardenia. Surprise, surprise. I would love for you to subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I've uploaded a new video. And um, let's live a authentic, colorful life. Let's be joyful for what we can. Let's be there for others, uplift each other. Um, anyway, I, I just wanted to say hi. I hope you're all doing well. I, I send blessings and prayers out to everybody across the world um, and lo would love, love, love to hear from you. And I really appreciate those that have continued to subscribe, um, even though my creative projects have not been shared as much. I, I, I'm getting back to it. I, I'm, I'm there, gang. I'm there. So um, anyway, I think everybody's lives are interesting. Uh, that's what I love about FlossTube. That's what I love about YouTube videos is that just our everyday people in the world, all over the world. And FlossTube has, um, for those who don't know it, it's for the cross-stitching community. And I was a cross-stitcher back in the 80s when my daughter Robin was born. And my gosh, the the art of cross-stitching has just jumped the shark, so to speak, since that time and now. There's it's art. It is pure art. It's meditative. Um, you can do it. I, people even upload um, live videos while they're cross-stitching and talking. Um, and everybody's lives are so interesting. There's people from Finland. There's people from the Netherlands, from England, um, Australia, all over the U.S. It's and I love to hear about your daily lives. I love to hear um, how you approach things, what you say. You say things differently. I say things differently. I say y'all. I have a Texas accent. Um, I have a horse. Um, I'm pug crazy. I, you know, we all have our, our unique little niches of, of things that we love and share. Oh, ukuleles. Can't forget the ukes. Um, if you play a you, get it out, play a little song for us. Um, I may come back on. I'm getting pretty good at blowing in the wind. And um, I did go to a beginner's um, class offered by um, the Dallas uh, Ukulele headquarters, Mark Levine, the, the founder, one of the founders. I think there was probably more. It was way back before I ever had a uke. Um, offered a beginner's class and it was for two hours and I learned so much there. But you can learn so much online. There are, are beginner classes, how-to classes. Um, if I can try and do it, I have no, no musical inclination. Woo, that was a hard one. Um, and, you know, I may not be the best, but I can play and I can enjoy it. And that's really the the matter of it you know i had the friend that from the ukulele headquarters said but you're a dancer it's like yeah but i can't look at a paper and try my brain is so right brain cannot convert um from paper the chords onto doing an actual chord so it, it's truly a struggle but it will help my brain have new pathways i'm about to be 61 gang I'm trying to rock my 60s, and um, so that's coming up, and I, I probably shared this before, but I always start thinking I'm the age that I'm going to be probably six months in advance, so I can just prepare myself. It sounds crazy, but my mom did the same thing. Um, it just kind of makes you embrace it once it happens. It's not like, oh, God, I just turned 60, and then just have a major breakdown. So um, anyway... Hugs, prayers, um, air kisses to you all. I saw on Facebook someone said air hugs, that too. Um, but please connect with me. I would love to hear from you. I would love to see videos. Let me know if you have a video that I could look at. Um, I get to hear your voice. I get to see your face. Um, let's get to know each other better. How about it? Challenge plus the you challenge. You can order... A really good uke. Um, there is a brand, Kamise, K-M-I-S-C, and um, 
I'm not going to say this correctly. It's actually the same brand. It's A-L-K-O-T. Um, you can get a really inexpensive um, package. You know, I would recommend probably a Soprano or a concert size on Amazon. Hey, get it. Let's, let's learn how to play the ute together during this time. That'd be something we could share. Um, we could do some live videos. Hey, am I getting you excited yet? Anyway, um, oh, one last thing. My sister and brother-in-law are in Hawaii. And uh, I've been praying for their safety in all kinds of ways. Um, but, you know, I was texting her and it was she was sending pictures of how beautiful it was and what they were doing. And I'm like, hey, I started throwing things at her. I said, send me pictures when you find somebody with a uke or a picture of a uke or a hula dancer or a tropical drink or, you know, just crazy things. And I found an actual scavenger hunt list on um, Pinterest and I sent it to her so she um, was sending me pictures when she found things and um, gave me a little story surrounding it and I mean that's a memory maker to me and I felt like I was part of her trip and she did get some signs from my mom that mom was there with her mom always wanted to go to Hawaii so indeed she is there with Tracy and uh, her husband and um, they come back shortly, so please pray for their safety and health. And um, anyway, just an idea. You know, we can make all kinds of just normal things that don't cost any money. Make it fun. Share us what you're listening to on your Facebook page or on Instagram, and then I can go listen to it. Maybe I'll find a new song I love. Um, anyway, ciao, adios, um, salud, uh, aloha. And in Texas, it's bye, y'all.